Hello, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobo Man. This video is about upgrading or adding extra RAM into your Elite Book 840, G1, G2, or G3. It should be the same for all of those models. This particular model is a G2. This is how it looks like it's open. You can see that it's an Elite Book. So if you have the exact same computer, visually speaking, that means this video is for you, right? Flip it upside down. So up top here you have a little safety feature that locks and unlocks this bottom plate that protects everything that's underneath, which is our electronic components. And you already know this if you watched my previous video, which is about upgrading, upgrading to solid state drive, which I will post a link to right here. So in order to unlock this, we're just gonna slide this over, and once it turns red, that means it's unlocked, and then we're just gonna slightly push it forward like so, and then we're gonna lift up, as simple as that. We have our solid state drive here, we have our CPU here, we have the CPU fan here, and here is our RAM. As you can see, there are two slots available for this type of RAM, and if you need a specific RAM that will work for this, there will be a link in the description where you can buy the exact RAM that will work with this. So before we do anything with our RAM, we gotta make sure that we remove our battery, which is super simple. Just like removing our bottom lid, we're just gonna unlock it like so, make sure it shows red, that means it's unlocked. There's another lock here, and but this one has a spring on it, so you gotta hold the spring as so. It does click in, but sometimes you have to hold the spring. So now that you see red on both sides, you can pull on this tab to remove the battery. So for RAM replacement, you don't need actually any tools. I'm just using this to kind of point with. But it's very simple to remove this. You see these little two tabs? We're just going to push them to the side, left and right, and to release the RAM that is slotted underneath here. And compared to the free slot here, you can see there's a little notch that helps us orient where the RAM slots in. And it kind of sits on an angle once it's once you try to put it in. I'll show you that here in a second. So we're gonna release these. We're gonna do one here. We're gonna do another one here. And see how it pops out like that and stays at an angle. At this point, you can take it out. And just to kind of do you a favor, I'm gonna show you what kind of RAM this is. I'm just gonna leave it here for a sec. You can see that it's a Samsung type of RAM. And again, there will be this, there will be a link to this RAM in the description box below or something similar to it that should be compatible. However, I will try to get the exact same RAM for you so you don't have to worry about finding it. This particular piece of RAM is eight gigabyte, as you can see here. So if you want to add a eight more, you can certainly do so by installing it right here. So remember, this used to sit like this. You just slot it in, like so. Make sure that it's, make sure that the connectors, let me show you this real quick. You see how these copper connectors are kind of visible here? Once you slot it in, you don't want to actually see these. I mean, it's okay if they peek out a little bit, but you want to make sure they go all the way in as much as possible. And let me, let me try to install it into the second slot here. So we're just gonna put it in like so. I'm gonna let it slide. And I'm gonna tilt it over a little bit so you guys can see. You see how it's slotted in quite a bit inside, you can see. Okay. Now that we have it properly inserted, we're just gonna lower this down because what will happen is these side clips, these side clips will just snap into the position. So all you gotta do is just press down and they clipped in like so. I'm gonna do it one more time, I'm gonna release it. So you guys can see how simple this is. I'm gonna release the clips. Okay, Whoa. that one actually flew out. <laughs> it's a good uh, opportunity to showcase the springiness of this thing. So I'm gonna put it back where it was. Slide it in and there's a little spring action as you know. And I'm just going to do it with one hand now, with one finger. I'm going to make sure it's slotted in. If you're not 100% sure that it's in, you can adjust these a little bit. But once it clips in like that, you are good to go. 
and there you have it guys if you're interested in looking at my other videos related to this specific model there will be a link at the end of this video so look for that big box uh, that will link to other videos related to this laptop I hope that helps you if you have any questions feel free to ask them that's what I'm here for so don't feel embarrassed or ashamed or anything like that don't be scared feel free to ask any questions I am here to help you this is what I'm here for okay thank you so much for watching have a good day now as the last thing now that we have it installed like so we got to make sure that we install our ma our battery back in and then we're just going to slide it in like so we're just going to press down on it make sure it's locked in we're going to lock it in our battery is locked and then we can insert our lid back on you just kind of drop it down like so make sure there's a little bit of gap so that way you kind of know that it's sitting on top properly and we're just going to pull it like so towards ourselves and then we're going to lock it back up and you're done